Okay, this is the second part of the review. It's about logic, mathematical logic. The first question is write the negation of uh, of the statement. Number one, she earned more than me. Negation is this is the symbol that we use for negation. Negation. It's obvious that the answer is B. Uh, is she does not air more than me. Okay. Okay, number two is negation of not all people like football. I saw because the answer is all people. Live football. Option C. Okay. Okay, number three, a negation of the X less than five is X greater than or equal five. Uh, like the option D. Right? And number four is a negation X greater than or equal minus fifty. And the negation is X less than negative fifty. Uh -huh. Negative fifty, negative fifty is like an option C. Okay. Negation. Okay, now this number five is convert the symbolic compound statement into the word. So basically, P represents the statement her name is Lisa, and Q represents the statement she lives in Chicago, and translate the following compound statement into the word. P conjunction Q. And remember conjunction, this symbol indicate an. Indicate an. Uh -huh. Basically then you have her name is Lisa like P. So the statement, the statement, the first part is P is her name is Lisa. This represent P. Now you include the, the connectivity word and, and after you copy Q, the Q is she live in Chicago. Mm -hmm. This represents Q. You see, it's very easy. Okay, now it's obvious that the answer corresponds with the option B. Okay, number six is different. P represents the statement uh, Jean play football. This is P. And Q represents the statement Michael play base, uh, uh, basketball. This is Q. And the connected word is Anna. No? <coughs> okay, now uh, convert the compound statement into the symbol. <coughs> And this is Jean does not play football. It's obvious that Jean does not play football in negation P. And it's conjunction. Michael doesn't play basketball is negation Q. And this corresponds with the auction. The auction, the auction, the auction D. Okay, number seven is neither neither indicate negation. Neither Jim play football nor Michael play basketball. And negation everything. Negation open parenthesis and the rest is uh, Jim play football can be no negation nor no represent or uh, Michael play basketball. Okay, uh -huh. 
and this corresponds with the option C. Is the correct? Okay, number A is just evaluate the, this expression. This is given that the true value associated with the P is true, Q is false, R is false. Evaluate what is the true value for this new expression. Okay, let's so just replace this. Well, negation P, P is true, negation P is false. This is false. This junction, parenthesis, Q, Q is false. Conjunction, negation R is true. Okay, so you proceed according to the theory of the operation. This is false. Uh, conjunction true. Remember, conjunction is only true when they both are true. See, one is not true like this. It's false. But so far, we have false. This junction false, and it's obvious it's false. Okay, corresponding with the option B. Okay, number nine is similar. Uh, is giving the true value associated for each statement and evaluate this expression. It's compound. So this is negation bracket. Negation P is false. This junction Q is false. Uh, uh, conjunction false. This junction R is false. Okay. I don't know. This and this con uh, conjunction obviously is false. This is this is false. This junction false. And false this junction false is false. And negation false is true. Then the final answer is E. A is true. Okay, let's see number 10. In number 10 we have three statement and using the common sense you determine the true value associated with this. So the first one, 7 is less than 8, of course true. 5 is in between 2 and 6, of course true. And 3 is less than 2, of course false. And you must evaluate this. Okay, so it is negation P. And who is P? P is true. And negation is false. This junction Q, who is Q? Q is true. And four, this junction true is true. And true corresponds with the option eight. Okay. Okay, eleven is similar. Eleven is using exactly the same. A statement, but I will read a, another expression, completely different expression. So it is, let's see, negation P, who is P? All P is true, so it is false. Conjunction Q, Q is true. This junction negation R, and negation R is, R is false, negation is true. Okay, let's solve this part first. False, conjunction true is, is false. And false, uh, disjunction true is true. And true corresponding with the option B. In this case. Okay, number 12, we start contract a true table for the compound statement. In this case, is negation R. A negation R conjunction negation P. Okay, as so we start at the beginning, we start. This is a systematic way to do the this table. You put R and P, and we copy the four option for the true value. It start true, true, true false, false, true, and false, false. Okay, now negation R. Negation R is completely opposite true value for the R. 
is false, 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 true, and true. And negation P is exactly the same, but opposite true value of P is false, is true, is false, and is true. And finally, this junction, but in between this column and this column. Okay, so now remember. This junction is true only when the both inputs are true. Okay, entonces it's obvious that okay, si at least one is false, it's false. So it's false, it's false, it's false, and the only one that gets true is the last one, that gets true. Uh -huh. And this is the corresponding with the option C. Okay, very well.